Okay, uh, we're back down in the shop here, and the side cover is off, and we're getting ready to uh, take this bike to have some exhaust work done on it, but uh, before we do that, I wanted to start the bike up so you can hear what it sounds like with the stock dual exhaust. It does have a little bit of an exhaust leak, but um, you'll at least be able to hear, hear what it sounds like here. Exhaust leak and the choke is on. Right here, where that exhaust leak keeps happening, let's get that fixed up. This is what it sounds like out the back and what it looks like. Where change is going to happen soon here. Okay folks, uh, we're back down in the shop here uh, with a not very clean uh, 2000 Aprilia Pegaso and uh, I uh, just wanted to kind of show the final product uh, with the exhaust. Apparently it was quite a challenge for the guy who, uh, who bent up the exhaust. I'm not sure if he was as experienced as maybe he could have been, but uh, he did get it all put together. Uh, I've got a DG a canister that was uh, originally uh, designed and set up for a 2008 to 2012 uh, KLR 650. Uh, the spacing on the tabs, the distance will uh, bolt right up to the same spacing on the Aprilia chassis. Uh, the offset is a little bit different, but you can use a spacer. I uh, might even be able to see it here. I'll come around the back. You can use a little spacer here. Uh, yeah, you can barely see it. Um, there's a spacer. I'll try to stick my hand in here. Right here. There you can see a little spacer right there between the tab and the chassis um, to help bring it out away from the tire a little bit and to uh, kind of straighten it up where you can get a pipe then in there. But this is kind of what it looks like from the back. Now you notice a big hole on the left side because I only wanted a single exhaust on this so that I can put a round PVC tube on this side down there on the left to put uh, tire irons, tools, and other paraphernalia that I might need, a little pump. Um, I love the sound. It's a lot better than the original um, twin pipe in my opinion. Um, it's actually the oval one. I, I mentioned on the first uh, portion of the video that, that I ordered a round one. When I, when I opened up the box, they had sent me an oval-shaped one, which was just fine by me. I like the looks of it. Uh, you can see the header pipe and where they cut it, and they welded the new pipe on right there. I'm not finished with it because I want to uh, uh, cut the bung off of the old uh, pipe and, and fasten it on this new one so that the cover, the original cover, will go up against there, and you'll never see the, the weld there. So. I just haven't gotten around to that yet, but uh, just for fun, I'm going to set the camera down here and uh, just crank it and let you listen to it. I love the sound of it. For some, it might be a little obnoxious, loud, but uh, I like to be heard when I'm out riding. So uh, let's see what we can do here in terms of firing up this pig. Hang on just a second. A lot more uh, throaty, you can tell. You're probably getting a little reverberation here in the shop, but uh, it sounds like a beast now. Let me come around the back. Got a spark arrestor.
So uh, there you go. There's a G, excuse me, a DG Performance uh, Oval KLR650 exhaust canister with a custom mid pipe, cutting off uh, the head pipe where it goes from two into one, putting a little section in there, and uh, I've ridden it around. Still has great low end, but I can tell it may be just a little lean now. I think that uh, opening up the exhaust and uh, letting the let it have a little bit more uh, free flowing air uh, through the carbs and through the exhaust has uh, put a little bit on the lean side, but we'll see. I'm going to go ride it first. It's not so bad that it's dangerous, but I, I want to go ride it and see how it does. And if I feel like it's a little lean, I might uh, adjust the pilot jet and maybe even the main jet a little bit uh, or raise the needle back up one position. We'll just see. Uh, it did feel pretty anemic on the top end, but I, like I said on an earlier video, I've got some different needles in mind. I just have to take the ones out of this to measure them before I make a change. So there we go, uh, pimping the Pegaso with a KLR650 exhaust canister, and uh, I love it. So we'll be going for a ride this weekend here in a few days, and we're going to try it out. I have some other goodies on the way. Hopefully we'll be here by that trail ride. We'll let you know if she does, okay? Have a good one, folks, and happy riding.